name is Nelson Hill. I'm the representative for uh, Cousin Rayu Ogaha in Austin, Texas, USA. I've come all the way here to discover a lot of different uh, secrets of the Cousin Rayu. And I want to take the opportunity today to ask Shiroshi Luis and Shiroshi Juliana about who gets you. If you could please give us a little bit of uh, insight. Thank you very much for the question, Nelson Sam. Thank you for being a study here indeed, especially mainly with Sir Jordan, Sir Juliana, myself. Okay, Kogetsu. Kogetsu is a deep study. It's not something that it's um, mostly known by the students. Then let's try to explain something about Kogetsu. Kogetsu, it's uh, a study concerning uh, Senryaku. It links to the Senryaku, but at the same time with Aiki Jujutsu. What does this mean? Well, uh, etymologically, Ko Getsu is composed by two ideas, two characters. Ko, that means, that comes from Katai, that means hard, strong, uh, solid. And Getsu, that comes from knot, and it's like a strong knot. Why? Because this technique comes from the ancient uh, people from the village workers that used to maybe carry in their bags some kind of strong, mainly of wooden or stone made uh, heavy, objects. heavy objects and they need to do a strong, a very strong knot in order to tie it and, uh, and carry that object through the ground, etc. This gave the idea to Aki Jujutsu Master to perform something similar with the body of the enemies. Mm. The Aki Jujutsu Masters used to perform that technique when they have to surprise an employee in not in war specifically situation, but in a in a hostile environment when they have maybe to restrain a sentinel or any other because they have the capability uh, to restrain by any Aikiju Jutsu immobilization and making a strong knot carrying the enemy to the ground and and uh, and moving it with a strong uh, trying to pull through the rope. Mm -hmm. Then it's a combination of Senryaku, Aikiju Jutsu and of course the use in employment of the of the ropes. I think that for explaining this, it would be easier maybe if we discuss regarding some basic ideas on this topic. Thank you. Please. please. Well, I will use Oscar's hand here, please. Welcome. Nice yes. class. Okay, uh, not uh, Oscar's hand. I will ask you to stay in the middle of the, of the area here. Please stand up. And you will be maybe guarding, facing that point. Thank you. You will act as a sentinel. I will be maybe in a silent circumstance around. And I will catch and grab the enemy by the back, surprising him. Then one of the characteristics that we have to, to recognize on, that, uh, on this method is that the arms need to be one strike and one bended. It cannot be both of them uh, completely striped. This is one of the characteristics. And the uh, attachment of the rope would be on the bend. Well, then, for example, I will, do, I will uh, uh, perform this very slow, keeping clear the details for the camera and for you that you are studying uh, right now this idea. I graph, and at the same time, I go backwards. Okay? Sometimes it's used to. Uh, control on that situation, but right now what we are doing, going to do is to bend that from that point and this will be supporting in order to have an unbalance backwards and we have this. For now, please, I have here a rope prepared. Some masters used to say that this must be, I will do again the technique, this rope needs to be, or the tatsuki, or maybe the uh, the the, uh, the sayo from the from the saya. But in the opinion of Ogawa Sensei's father, Saburo Ogawa, it was not right. Mm -hmm. 
because that ropes, uh, those ropes were not able, they don't have the length enough to, to perform that, this kind of knots because you need to... to yeah. yeah, okay. Then, for that reason, you need a, a, a longer rope. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a rope inside my, inside my gi and I will do the same. Go forward, backward, take control, moving, and we have this arm, the, uh, this, the right arm, completely bended and the left one is straight, supporting in order not to fall. Very quickly, I go with, the, with this lace inside, inside of, the, of the wrist in order to control. Right now, we have to pass from that in order to control this arm, the left arm, in that position. From now, go around and have this control. We pass here with this, with this kind of, yeah, of pen here. I will show the camera too, okay? And for here, we go perform a knot. One, and two. For here, you could, of course, doing this kind of method in order to get some traction. By now, let's go to the ground. I will do it slowly in order to don't injure my partner here, of course, not please. Let's go to the ground. And we have this. We, he's right now uh, unable to draw the sword to try to handle a tanto, but we could end in the following way. We have this here, restrain, the wrist here, very strong, and from here, of course, this is the moment to pull. We will go up and from here, try to carry like a solid, like, like a stone from the ground, pulling and moving forward. This is very strong for him, and it's a combination, as we could see, from Shemriaku to Aiki Jiu Jitsu. Okay? Then I will release my partner here. We will see in different circumstances. For example, when he tries to draw a sword, we are in a different circumstance. Now we have behave in surprise. He is completely surprised by, by, uh, by my attack. But sometimes it could be employed not for sentinels or also sentinels, but they, uh, they, uh, they watch me, how I am getting closer, and they try to react. And this is a very interesting point. Then let's go, please, Oscar Sanitar, could you take Kobuto? One more time. here, okay, he has the Bokuto in his hobby, and when I am getting closer, like some kind of torite, because these techniques are the ancient ways of, of this, performance, this performance that it's called uh, Kogetsu no Benkyo or Kogetsu no Giko, this kind of techniques, are the ancient ways that in from the year, after the years, after the centuries, became what it's called Horio. There are the ways to get in prison uh, to the enemy in war situation, in war combat. Then for now, he will try to draw the sword. I will stop very close to an Torite, uh, uh, and I will hand, handle, I will grip on the, on the wrist, on that side, inside here. Keeping safe from the from the edge, from the sword, I pull and I have control on this technique. This we have in the left arm, it will be straight, and the right arm will be here, like in a kotemawasi. We could chance for having this control. I move back in order to be more comfortable right now. Take out in order to have the rope, and we go inside very quickly in order to restrain we have some restriction here of course he's right now released we have to 
have this control pass completely here and having this, okay, so look, move around and from here make this bend and we have this. Right now, very slowly, he's like second outside because he will be cross like some flicks around. Now, go straight around. We have this. Slow. Take care of your partner regarding the katana. And from here, you go do the same. Are you restrained, of course, huh? Good no. you. Okay, thank you. Go up once again. I release. Would you like to maybe, well, you very, very interesting. Not so sad. Yeah. It would be good if you feel it in order to oh, sure. then please take out. Could you okay? While you are releasing, please me. I will take this one because you are wearing a white gi and it will be easier also for you to see and to see for the camera if we use a blue robe. Then uh, please take a sword. Threaten myself in order to try to draw the sword. I stop here. I have this control. Sorry. Sense with my position. And for now, very slowly, in order to don't harm you because you are here uh, training. I have this strength. Stretch. Right now, I have this control. If I have this, this arm is uh, it's restrained and the other one is here. We have. Here the rope, open it, go inside, having control of it, and very quickly pass aside. Right now, we have only to care about the tension on the rope, because of course you will try to, to move forward, and I have to get tension, my help is in your back. Slow down, probably don't harm you. Here, one, two, move inside. Here, I have this control, and now you feel like a second half, you are restrained, go down slowly, beware the sword, we have this control, we could make some more tight if we press here, and now uh, only feeling a little what will be the pressure when I pull the rope, okay, this is very strong, you feel it's a strong knot, that is the name of the technique. Then please, not so sound. So then, I would like to show you other, other more sequence studied before. I will prefer to Oscar San okay. while you are releasing from the rope. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oscar San, please. Imagine Nelson so San. Uh, no, I won't need. Maybe a tanto. Please, I will take. Oscar San, please. Hold the tanto. We are maybe in some kind of gathering, meeting, and we have a traitor here. It's Oscar San. Oh, I mean. It's a secret right now, okay? He's holding, he's wearing a tanto inside. He's Toby, and I am here. We are maybe so good, a high degree uh, personality, and a very important person. Then, Maybe I'm here and I am trying to control in your back. But the action, the betrayal comes from my left. I watch that he is trying to draw the tanto, the hidden tanto. I have control here and move to that position. Why? Because if we have the tanto on that situation, I could strike here, strike here in order to release that. This is a very common situation, not only studied in Kanto Jutsu, but also in, uh, in, uh, in Osai no Heiho. From here, I move over, because I, for this technique, I am not interested in having him uh, face to the ground. We want to keep that, that arm, because we need the straight arm and the bended arm. From here, go down, we have this control, and for now, 
I cross these both uh, both arms. Right now, I find here tip from the rope, restrain here. Okay, this is very important. And right now, it's important that the rope move here because this is a very surprising action right here. We need that because when I move here, I, sorry, Oscar San, I will need to roll to that situation. Can you see? This has passed around. We have the rope passing by that side. We need to clear that we have, sorry, here passing around, having the less space passing by this. Can you see? This is very strong. And from here, getting closer. Only I am doing very slow because this rope cool burns. It's, it's bar it burns. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. abrasive. Then, when we have this control, this control, of course we could uh, we could close the knot, but we will put him completely on face up. And right now we will from here press and move pulling the this way. On this way. A very we easy to walk. situation also would be for, for instance, no? Please Oscar San, can I can I remove your your wrists here? Okay. Okay, this one also also the first one. Just uh, please, uh, Luisa, just go over him, over his back, just on the first position where you yes. could, could break the arm. Yeah. Can you please? Okay. Yeah, here? Yes, here. Exactly. When he comes uh, over him, mm -hmm. again, so you go. Yes, just by pressing it, just please relax your hips, Oscar San, not to. Okay, knee down. Also do, do this cross. Mm. So he will be here facing up. It's also a very comfortable yes, situation for him to put the knot on this on this hand, on this first hand. So of course when he does the rope, when he puts the rope down, for him not to do too much effort, just let's, he will do that. And he will come back here again. So he will be on the final position. Right. Also, in the same way. In the same way, on the same cross. Please. Okay, that's on Sam. Do you I have any question regarding this? Regarding this, uh, this method? This no, it looks very interesting. Yes, I hope you like it. Yes. It's one of the oh, very deep, deep tradition, very deep knowledge, and I hope you like it because it's a high degree IQ Jutsu and a high degree. Uh, knowledge from our school. I hope you liked. Thank you very much, Thank you very much to everybody. Hope you like it, and please keep watching, keep being loyal, and following all our videos. Thank you very much. <laughs>